Hi, I'm Brian Van, SportBikeTracker.com. I'm gonna show you how to replace the grips on your 2018 Kawasaki Ninja 400. Okay, so if you're a new rider, you're probably thinking, man, this is a brand new bike. Why is he putting grips on it? Well, let me tell you, stock grips suck, okay? That's the truth, they suck. They have no grip, right? They're really thin. I hate them. Everybody hates them. Walter the Unicorn hates them. We're gonna install a set of driven D-access grips. They got these cool metal accents on either end. And they're also a little thicker, a little softer. They tend to absorb a little more vibration. And quite frankly, I prefer riding a bike that has a nice set of grips on it. I'm really pretty picky about my controls and the way they feel. And for me, stock grips, they are a no-go. Okay, so the procedure I'm gonna show you right now, it's gonna translate to any brand grip you wanna install on this bike. Everybody has their own preference. Feel free to use that. Something you'll notice too, I'm not gonna use hairspray, I'm not gonna use WD-40, I'm not gonna do it any of those simple ways. I'm gonna use grip glue and you can see that I use it every time I install it because this tube is almost gone. That's what they do from the factory. Like I said, I'm picky about my controls. I don't want my grips moving around at all. If you've ridden bikes long enough to see a lot of other people's bikes, odds are you've seen some nasty grips people have put on their bikes. They're all twisted and just gross, okay? I want mine stuck in position just like the factory. Okay, on the Ninja. First thing we have to do is we have to get off those factory bar ends. Don't worry about it, they used a whole bunch of red thread locker, okay? So you, I mean, really got to get after that. Expect that to come out with some resistance. This is a six mil T-handle that I'm using. You're going to need a tool that's going to offer, you can see the thread locker right there, a tool that's going to offer enough leverage to be able to really get after that bit. Taking the grip off. There's more than one way to do that. You can slice it and take it off. You can roll it off, or if you happen to have an air compressor, you can take it off just like that. It blows up like a balloon, slide it right off the clip on or the throttle tube. I'm gonna point this out to you. Notice there's two different inside diameters. The smaller of the two is always gonna go on your clutch side. The bigger of the two needs to go over the top of your throttle tube, okay? It's really important that you install them just like that. I had to go get a new tube of grip glue. That one was cashed out. It was done, okay? I have an old screwdriver, an old Phillips screwdriver with the head ground off. You could use a new one. The stuff will clean off eventually. What you want to do is you want to get enough grip glue in here to act as a lubricant, you don't need a tremendous amount because remember any of the excess that rolls out, you can't have it caught in between the throttle tube and the clip on. That's very bad, no binding. You don't want any of it to roll up into that throttle housing. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is right here at the leading edge, I'm just gonna kind of put a little bit in there. You wanna make sure you get it all the way around. And then I'm gonna kind of help work it down the grip a little bit, a little bit there. And you wanna get after it pretty quick. And just keep it moving. It takes the stuff a while to set up, so, you know, don't be afraid if this takes you a few minutes to get this thing going. Just basically continual pressure. And honestly, these grips can be a little trickier to install because of those metal accents. Now I wanna make sure I get this as far inboard as I can. Kinda of wanna rotate it so the logo looks good. Like so. I've seen 
you know, diff there's different ways to do this. Like this particular throttle tube, it has that ridge on it. The stock grip will pop over that. Some of the other grips will pop over that. Some people like to grind that off, make it flush so you can get the grip closer. Personally, I am totally okay with where that's at. I just want to make sure the grip is as far up to it as possible in this situation. Come over here. Any excess that's on the other side, we're going to clean that off right now. And then you want to let the bike sit for a while before you actually take it out and ride. You want to give this a chance to set up. Once I have all the stuff that's outside and visible cleaned up, I'm going to go ahead and loosen up the screws on the throttle housing. enough that I can slide that over like so. And I want to look under the tube and see, and there's really not a whole lot there. You can see I'm kind of just wiping just a tiny little bit off the edge. Okay, and I've got the grip installed so it's just up over the edge of that throttle tube. That's also important. You don't want a bunch of grip on the other side of that throttle tube because the rubber obviously can grab onto the bar end create some throttle sticking and that stuff's serious business you don't want to do anything here that's going to create a situation where that throttle could stick or bind go ahead and push this back on compress the halves back together we'll snug that back up make sure you like the position of the logo we're going to mirror that on the other side, of course. If you're using stock bar ends, you know, a lot of people will order bar ends and grips at the same time, kind of do the job together. You could put more thread locker on these if you choose to. These stockers do have some girth to them, definitely have some weight to them. There's still quite a bit of resistance while threading that on. Like so. And you can kind of just adjust the grip, those last little bits. Right, I want to get it right to the end of that throttle tube. That's where it's going to look the best. There you go. There is your throttle side install. The clutch side's a lot easier because you're not dealing with that plastic throttle tube. Okay, over to the other side now. Once again, open up with that bar end. Go back to the compressor. Pop that stock grip off. Off camera, I also did clean the grip residue, grip glue residue from the other one. I'm going to do that here too. There's actually quite a bit up here by that housing. I might grab a little screwdriver and just kind of purge that off of there. You know, you got hairspray. You know, I've heard WD-40 different things. This is just the way I do it. And you can clearly see it's not the easiest way to install them. But in the end, when that grip, grip glue dries, I can actually say those words, I think, you get what I believe is the best result. Okay, same as the other side, but like I said, this is a whole heck of a lot easier because you don't have that throttle tube. Go ahead and squeeze off a little bit here. Leading edge of the grip, okay? It's gonna act as lubricant and help glue it in place. Put just a little bit there. Want to make sure you've really got a coating everywhere. And this one. You can see that is a whole hell of a lot easier. Oh, look at that, it's nasty. I'm going to wipe up some of that excess. 
Boy, that's gonna get some funny comments. Okay, and then just get the bar end on there. You know, once you've got everything cleaned up. I feel pretty good about that thread locker that's still in place. I don't believe those are gonna vibrate loose. Clean up any excess that you have. It's residual. Make sure you've got your logos, your spacing, everything is right where you want it. Because now remember, you let this sit for a couple hours, those grips are going to be stuck in that position. The grip glue just flat out works better. It's way more inconvenient when you're doing the job. I'll say that. It's not easier. It's not cleaner to do it that way. But for example, that R1 that we just sold, that project bike, I had a set of driven grips on there for three seasons. They never turned at all. And it's because I installed them the first time with grip glue. So there you have it. This is how you install a set of grips on your Kawasaki Ninja 400.